I want to turn to President Obama speaking at the annual National Prayer Breakfast last week. After he condemned the Islamic State as a death cult, he made this comment. Humanity has been grappling with these questions throughout human history. And lest we get on our high horse and think this is unique to some other place, remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, people committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often was justified in the name of Christ. This is not unique to one group or one religion. There is a tendency in us, a sinful tendency that can pervert and distort our faith. IRFM wishes to advise that the views expressed on the cutting edge are not necessarily those of the company. Provoking, always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Good night. This is the cutting edge. And IRFM on next Wednesday. We're still in the Black History Month. Still in the Black History Month. You know, say, you could have deal it up. We're not left it. <laughs> we're not left in it at all. Believe you me, we're not left it. There's too much things at stake. Too much things at stake, believe it. So, as you say, we're still in the Black History Month celebration. And we're going to continue the journey. Because the journey is really. Long, 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 long. Cutting it. Yeah. Yes, as you say, this is Black History Month. I know so you could have deal with all the, the black holes of the history. Because not every history is our history. Some of them are history. And are history. So, we have to continue the journey. Yeah, man. We have to continue the journey. And we now nah live out the journey until the journey ends. <laughs> Yes, we there with you. Before I forget, you know, before I really forget, I am asking the drunk crowd there who I use my name on Twitter for stop it. Because I don't use Twitter. So that the drunk crowd there who is sending, sending Twitters, I wouldn't call them Twitter or Twitter. Tweet. Tweeter. They must send tweet. They must send tweet. Oh, they must send tweet. All right. This team don't even know what to say. We have to show how ignorant me. I am asking the drunk out there who is tweeting my name and my picture to people about me said this and me said that. For stop it. I was going to have to come really make you stop it for two. Permanently. So I just have to tell the one out there. Whether you is a male drunk or a female drunk, don't use my name to continue a little obscene. I don't even know what to call it. 
why a man that want to send something and then put somebody else's name around it? Him do have no balls. Mm. Yes, this is the... <laughs> yes. We hey, we are uh, we, we are on go. We are on go. I want the people them know say Keshima is now a longer point. But she's now a full-fledged singer and artist. She and um, her... What's name? David. Da huh? Da I know Da Vinci, man. Da Gavin Grant. Oh, Davin Grant and produced by my brother Neil. So, well, may I tell you, I refer to Mizalik, you know, I refer to Republic by itself. <laughs> I can't take I refer I refer to like a little Republic, you know. Believe you me. I've got come to get come live, you know. Trust me. No, but Keshima sing now. You know, more and play the tune. I'm going to play the tune, you know, but little more. But. Keshima, they found some singing there with me. I say, yes, Keshima, go on, Keshima. Yes, okay. So, we have something lined up on the program here tonight. We want to, um, we're going to do an interview with, with a lady, the, 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 the program director. And she so say, I refer to a little republic by itself. Continue to interview the program director of IRFM. <laughs> ah, yes, and it's a very important interview. And you're going to know why we're going to interview the program director about some issues where arise. Okay. And then we also have a, we have a tier to play about lynching from democracy now. I mean, if you hear, all right, whenever I say if you hear the tape, because we're going to play it, make you hear it. I mean, it's a very devastating tape, considering, say, America is this, this saint of all countries, yet still, when we check out where, just the other day, you know, I don't know, hundreds of years ago, neither we are talking about, you know, just the other day in America, them did a lynch black people left and right and Mexican. Did you know? Did you know that in America, if you're a Mexican and you're among some white people who attack English and you start to ask Spanish, them lynch you? <laughs> yes, it's not like a, a, a black man was lynched because he was looking on a line, clothes line, where white, the white woman did hang her clothes and he might look on the line and them, them just lynch him. So, a terrible thing, terrible thing in America. So, tonight we want to present to you. Just recently, them do some investigation and show you, say, a 4,000, 4,000 black people was lynched in America. 4,000. Talk for them talk. We know where them not pay for yet. We know where them not pay for yet. Now, my friend, they're in the studio here, yeah, look at where the drunk do. The drunk has been tweeting my name and, and attributing things to me that I don't have interested in. I'm not interested in a Rihanna dress. I mean, really. I, we have to, go, we have to go get to the top of it. I don't want to get to the bottom of it. We have to get to the top of it. So I don't know if Kashima or Neil could have found out where that thing they have come from directly. Because I've been so far from what I look at you now, it's more than where the bridging sent me today. With 10,000 people. <laughs> 10,000 people I look at this thing and feel their mood are said. That is a criminal activity. No criminality that. Mm -hmm. Eh? No criminal, criminal Then the why we can't find out how? Neil, you don't know not what we yeah, big man them in here, you know. Between between you Kishi on the can find out that who I do that. Eh? Where does it originate from? 
No, I'm not going to find a drunk of the Rasta. Believe you, me, I'm not going to find him. I'm not going to find him. Ah, uh, er. It looks like a him, though. No woman now doing that. Uh, see it? You're you supposed to live on the red boat. You know, I'm going to go to the red boat. No, but, no, man, a terrible thing that. The things that the man have me a, a comment pan. You can't just say that like a low life drunk or two, you know, fly high all the while and can't get no dead meat, so I'm going to pitch for me. Believe you me, me I tell you man, it's terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. Black woman, ooh, black woman, like me, you've traveled long. You've traveled one of life's rough and strong. You've been a heavy slow. Yeah, lady, Judy Moat. Back on the musical scene, I mean, seriously back on the musical scene. So I expect to hear some sweet music again. Well, she had been making sweet music on the gospel level, but Black Woman is a gospel tune to me personally. And most of the songs them where Judy Moat sing to me, most of the song them is as if it is gospel music. I don't know why she did get this divine inspiration. I don't know what them call it. Divine touch not to perform these songs. But you have to look at it from the context of what it has done to uplift and advance people. And I have not heard Julie Moat sing any song that I would call or deem derogative. So the person of the woman are the the nation as a black nation. So I really feel good when I hear she sing them song there on the stage. Because I am not a Christian but I can relate to the black woman song, elevating the black woman and many other songs that she sing when she did declare Rastafari. So yeah man, more power to do the more. Yes, yeah, she 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 uh, she really did a good work in the reggae industry, and she do a what are the the anthems for black woman in song. Nobody can dispute that 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 song, black woman, is one of the best song for black women that has been done by any female artist in Jamaica. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we hear that stepping razor will be stepping out of the studio. Yes. Oh, you mean? And if everybody has to go to the studio, then why stepping razor can't have to go to the studio? Yes. Go on, you look at all the people in the brownstone. Believe you, me, I'm the first member to so much bleach, you man. Not brownstone, no part. I will go there that day. Bob Marley, please. I never see so much bleach woman in my life at one place. Trust me. It look like bleaching just reach up the sun. I wish part of the place the name again. Belmont, a Belmont in name. Nine eh? Nine, nine mile. Nine mile. No, me I tell you the truth. I have seen bleachings and bleaching, but at the first place, remember say, a gathering of bleachers. Me I tell you, man. Oh, gosh, man. So why you know, part my bleaching friend, them up there will take picture with me and... I say, yes, Mota, a long time ago, I didn't want to see you. Cha, if I see you up there, man, I tell you, man, whoa. Let me you. So, you know, say, Digital Chris, as you hear them say, the, 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 the program a while ago, is a relative of the great Jacob Miller, and this Friday, live, Jacob Miller will be unveiled. And you know, say, we, we have got to Westmoreland, the 22nd, Belmont Academy. We'll be broadcasting live from Belmont Academy, Muta Baruka and Cabo. I refer to Black History Month celebration. You know, say, that, that used to call, well, it is formally Peter Tash tribute. Now it is 
I refer him Black History Month and Reggae Month celebration right there in the, the Belmont Academy. That is where we're going to keep it. Right on the premises of Belmont Academy. So, we want to keep that in mind that we're going to Belmont Academy 22nd of February. Yes. With the celebration that was formally called the Peter Tat Tribute. <laughs> Now we are just stepping in race. I'm going to step out into Brownstown. Yes. Now we are just stepping in race. I'm going to step out into Brownstown. Yes. We are just stepping in race. I'm going to blaze out. I go, well, I don't know if I should have said this. <laughs> All right. We don't talk to the program manager later. I'm going to ask her if it is firm up. But we're, we're supposed to have the stepping in race live. Up in our sense and they saw. Believe you me. I refer them up on the road. Hey. I tell you, them don't need the radio station again. I want left the, the CEO I left the radio station give me. I just go and use the two big bus them out there and run the radio station for the bus them. Yes, so after all we we'll go through. All the blood was shed and the tears were turned into clear. And all the bodies were get thrown overboard in the Atlantic Ocean. And after 400 years, we're still there. We survive all of that. All of that, we survive. The lynching, the burning, all of that we survive. And they have to tell the tale too. Okay. Oh, I just want to say something. Um, you know, there's a little sister named Rene, Rene Bruce Miller. She, she, she made a, 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 a what you call it, like Google. I don't know what you call that website. No, in that website. I mean, anyway, I think him proudly. You know, only if I want to hear her the other day, the morning, oh, she was supposed to go to Jordan, and she never get to go because all of the doors them for developing entrepreneurship was closed on her. And she came on the radio. And we asked her how she can reach, so she can't reach unless she gets a certain portion of money. Well, she never get the money, but I want to tell her, say, a two people me find, email me and talk to me and say, they would have give you the plain fear at the time, but the time when you were supposed to go was too late. Well, I just get an email a while ago from Miss Miller. Miss Bruce Miller. Miss Bruce Miller said she gets her next invitation to go to Jordan. You know, so she's into her computer business and all them something. And is a young black woman, entrepreneur, Jamaican woman who has created something that I know said we're going to get big. I just know said I'll get big. I tell her I said I'll get big, you know. And maybe she take it for joke. Well, I know so she not take it for joke still. But anyway. The bottom line is that she got another invitation to go to Jordan and she's leaving for Jordan tomorrow. So I want to give her a big round of applause to persevere. She is leaving for Jordan tomorrow. So if Miss Miller is listening, you could give us a call and make her rejoice and bask in your victory of Getting invite to Jordan to show off your your skills as a computer whiz. And now you have gotten a next invitation and I am told that the sister is leaving for Jordan tomorrow. We give thanks to hear that. And that is all about not giving up. Not giving up. 
If you have a dream, the only thing is that your dream can come true. So be careful of what you think and car you might surely get it. Be careful of what you think and because you might surely get it. And that is a good example of thinking, thinking, thinking. And the people then the listeners was very receptive to our plight. Very, very receptive. And we feel glad for no say you have some people out there we are listening to it. We're very receptive. I just I just met a um a bridging who was in the America a Jamaican who was in the army. He is now a veteran, so he's not longer in the army, but he said he served. He came out in 2012. He's not in the army again. And he said, he here, he was ready to donate a big portion of money to the sister of God. You know, see, but as you say, unfortunately, when she had to tell me, it, it was like, today, the, the Wednesday, was the Friday, she was supposed, supposed to leave. Well, for those of you who was really trying to help his sister, I want to tell you that she's going to Jordan tomorrow. She is going to Jordan tomorrow. Cutting it. Yeah, this is the Cutting Edge and I refer to talking about Black Man Redemption. Bob Marley and the Wheelers belting out the message of black redemption, black liberation. Yeah, man. That, Bob Marley that deal with all the year, people are sharp. <laughs> black progress. And you know, say, I'm going to be one here that you want to buy Bob Marley, black progress. Anyway, we want to talk to the program director, presenter at IRFM. You know her as Cabo Mahat. Hello. Good night, ma'am. Good night, sir. How are you doing? I am doing very well, you? I am doing good if you are doing good. You know, most of it's that Twitter thing. Eh? It's that Twitter thing. Yes. The person was using your name. Do you know that exactly? Well, February, today is February 11th. Yes. February 11th, 2012. Yes. Someone, a kind person on Twitter, wrote to that person to tell them stop using your name in the way that they're using it. Mm. February 11, 2012. You serious? Yes. And what them say? Them continue? Yes, yes. They continue. Obviously, they continue. Oh, so you can't... Somebody knows who? Or you just... Them just send it I think it, I, I, I think it will be easy to find out who, who, who it is. No, it is not so difficult it. because people have to sign up for the social media. Um, yeah, and, and, and I'm sure that we can find out. It's not so difficult. The thing that hurt me is that them have a picture there. Yes, but, but Mota, it's more than one you have, you know. You have some who actually say that it's a parody. They go as far as to say, all right, this is, it's called a Mota Baruka, at Mota Baruka, or at Mota Baruka, whatever. Mm. But they tell you it's a parody. But if it's a parody, but then, we never give them a picture for put there. Well, then you don't want to use a picture to do that with, with celebrities like yourself. Liberty, like me. so why this liberty can't do nothing about it? I think that you can, I think you can, but you, I don't think you can go after everybody. But where people are using your name in the way that in these people are using your name, yeah, then that I mean, is that's, I mean, that's, outrageous, that's, man. Outrageous, that's that. Things we would have never yes. seen in life, never, anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out tomorrow, though. We're gonna figure it out, yes, yes, yes. All right, Cabo. So we, we have, have various things to talk about. We come touch by one. Um, the stepping razor outside broadcast. Is it is, is it legitimate? Uh, the seal of or, or that go? It is. It it is ninety five percent sealed, yeah. and um, some more. <laughs> it's ninety five percent sealed. So you can go ahead and say that you're going to be okay. um, on the road we next really, week Thursday. We did say that really. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> All right, so a Brown Sound Community College. Yes, it is 95 percent sealed. They are very excited to have you there. Actually, very very excited. You know, I, I've, I've been to that college many times. When I um, when name was there, um, um, Tekla. Tekla, yeah, I'm invited. Yes, yes. Time. You know them we there. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not there again, though. No, really um, this year, this year they're having they're having a very involved um, Black History Month celebration. Mm. Uh, next week, Thursday, 
and um, it's, it's, I think it's going to start from sort of like 19 o'clock in the morning and go through until evening. Okay. And okay. Um, the, the, uh, you're, you're going to be, um, in addition to hosting the cutting edge, I think at the same time you're hosting the cutting edge, you're probably emceeing. <laughs> you mean stepping razor? I mean stepping razor and a cutting edge? Sorry, the stepping razor, the stepping razor. I'm going to emcee and yeah. host the stepping razor at the same time. Right, it, it looks like you might be doing two. Uh, you're multitasking. Them bits are get a clone. <laughs> them, them bits are get a clone. Uh, we can well, they have some exciting plans. Yeah. We can use Tabo still. I think I'll be there in a motor. No, I mean, that's how it would be there. I maybe we can use Cabo. I mean, that's a big to do what? To MC. <laughs> <laughs> I will be there. I will be there. I will be there at Bounton Community College supporting uh, you. Okay, you so like a mother. <laughs> All right. So, okay. the 22nd, which is the last outside broadcast for the month, is that it is? After the twenty second, you have any more outside broadcasts? Um, for the month of February, yeah. no, no. But so we, but we immediately after that, then we we're heading to to Negril for the Herb Fest. Oh yeah. For for March seven and eight, which you are on to. Oh me. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 we can tell you something now. What does you know you the two bus them and go out and give me the radio station? Oh, the well, but it is that? the radio station. Eh? No, because everything everything, everything comes back back to the radio station. No, I mean the, the building, the building. We can't do something to the building, you know. Because I mean if everything I do outside now. I I tell you what you do, give me the bus them. Yeah, but mostly it's a period of it's a it's a nice it's a campaign period for IRFM. Yeah, it's sweet man, sweet. Yeah, re energizing and, and re rebranding and, and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right now, we 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 have a thing have to deal with about the the, the, the celebration in a Westmoreland and the venue has moved to the to the um academy. To, to the Belmont Academy, as our listeners know, if, for the for the past few years, well, we had a, we had an idea um, many years ago for a celebration of Jamaican um, reggae icons um, uh, and uh, uh, Jamaican icons who used their activism, their art for activism and for liberation purposes, and one of those persons was uh, Peter Tosh. Now, so we, we, we headed to, uh, to Westmoreland in celebration, uh, celebration of Peter Tosh. However, this year, we, we have changed the concept a bit, widened it, to uh, have our end of, the, uh, end of Black History Month celebration culminating with a massive Black History Month, African Liberation Month celebration. So this is no longer a Peter Tosh celebration, but a celebration of African liberators, living mm. and those who have transcended, mm. those from Westmoreland and those from St. Kitts and those from Mavis and those from London. And it don't matter where you are, as long as you're a black man and you're an African and you're a liberator. So living like a self-motor who use the art for activism. Mm. So, so I, I, I use this, may I ask you why, don't it? <laughs> uh, but you just me ask you why the change, don't you? No, you the, 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 the change, the change came about. I know sometimes uh, we, I can't go into all of the reasons why we 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 had a change. But sometimes you are given an opportunity mm. to to be the best that you can be. The Emperor Haile Selassie talks about um, we must become something greater than we have ever been. And this is one moment that we are challenged to become something greater than we have ever been because our, our part of our Black History Month celebration has always been about celebrating the greatest of us and the greatest that we have achieved. So regardless of how we narrowed it down to one person or two persons, mm -hmm. it has always been to get there. So so the reasons behind that, I want, don't necessarily want to get in no motor, yeah, but yeah, we will yeah, at yeah. a later date. But just to say that we have been challenged to be greater than we have ever been. Okay. And we welcome the challenge. We're very happy for the challenge because it has made us so. And as a result of that, I can give you a bit more information of what we're going yeah, to do. Yeah. So that on February 20th, 
which is a Friday. Yes. Um, the Belmont Academy. We must say thanks to the principal of the May Belmont Academy, Mr. Mr. You know, at two years now, we go down there in a very forward moving principal, man. Ah, uh, I'm telling you, yeah, Mr. Mr. Ryan uh, Simpson, who really is such, as you said, a forward moving person, um, who understands his role and responsibility. In not just in the national context, but in the global context of yes, liberation, yes, yes, yes. and so right, and so that the the Belmont Academy, and interestingly enough, in a motor to back up a bit, when we first came up with the idea to celebrate in Westmoreland at the end of the the, the month February, mm. the first place we went to as a possible venue was the Belmont, Belmont Academy. Academy. We met with the then principal at the time, yeah. Mr. Simpson, and we met with members of staff and so on. And everybody was really open to IRFM celebrating there. Yeah. But then we had another opportunity of celebrating at, a, at, a, at somewhere that was a little bit more authentic in terms of what and who we were celebrating. Yeah. So we made that choice. Yeah. But here we are back at the place that we originally yeah, yeah, identified yeah. as the area for celebration. Yeah. So so that the, 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 the principal, Mr. Ryan Simpson, has been a really brilliant in all of this. And, and on Friday the 20th, we um the 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 celebrate the Black History Month celebrations kick off with a symposium including young people from the school and from schools in and around uh, the area throughout Westmoreland will be gathered there to participate in that um in that symposium. Biniman, the Dr. Biniman, will be delivering a lecture at the symposium, a lecture which he will, of course, um, dedicate to Peter Tosh. That, mm. that, is, that is a given. Yeah. Um, but the celebration is really our Black History Month celebration. It's a symposium that we have invited all the schools in the area to be a part of, and yeah. they're coming in to be a part of that. Okay. Um, DJ Sunshine who is on on that day from from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., will be in, in Westmoreland, in Belmont, at the Academy, and she will broadcast live. Um, her entire program will be broadcast live back to the rest of Jamaica and, of course, on the internet at irfm.net. So we're carrying that symposium, we're carrying that interaction with the, with the students and with the members of the, of, the, of the community in and around Belmont, yeah, but in the wider community, because we're saying to our people in Jamaica, visitors and everybody alike, make this an, an, a weekend of activities. Mm. On Saturday, and, and we're fleshing out the details of this, but we um, can more or less confirm that we'll be having what, what, what we are dubbing a festival of drums, literally that we hope will culminate uh, in sat and Saturday night with s s what looks close to a Naya Bingi, so that we'll have um, drums from, from all across Jamaica mm -hmm. and hopefully from all across the world coming into the venue on Saturday with, um, with that kind of a festive atmosphere. So yes, we're calling it a yes. festival of drums as we celebrate yes, um, at the end Month. of Black History Month, yes. our African liberation. Yes. So, and then on Sunday, Muto, that's you, myself and yourself, both of us will be hosting the broadcast for most yes. of the morning, most of the day, uh, and we are going to be broadcasting back to IRFM on Sunday, all day, and Sunday is really the festival crescendo, because it is a festival, that's exactly what it is, yeah, um, the live, sorry? No, of course, it is a festival. Right, so, so we, we're, we're going to be, um, there's going to be African, on display African history in terms of um, documents in terms of um, what, you know, artifacts, mm -hmm. um, African culture, African fashion, African food, um, performances, a grand concert. There's going to be so much involved on the Sunday um, as we bring the curtains down on African Liberation Day. So it is a big Black History Month celebration, a massive Black History Month celebration that's happening there in Westmoreland mm -hmm. on, from February 20. 21 and 22. I remember I ask you a question now. The logistics of the place, um, you, you still going to have people renting booths so that them can do exactly yes, what you yes. 
And that's a very good question, Muta, because we're using this opportunity to say to persons who are interested, and this is going to be a first-come, first-served basis, and, it's, and, and which means they're going to have to do that urgently, mm -hmm. that tomorrow morning you're calling IRFM immediately to say that um, you are interested in, in, in vending, whether it is um, a, food, a food stall or clothes, clothing, African clothing yeah. and fashion, yeah. or, um, you know, art and craft, or artifact, or whatever you've got, please let us know. And if you're interested mm. in, 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 in vending on the day, in being part of that African marketplace, then we have to know as early as possible. It's first come, first serve. It's going to be a limited amount of persons, but it's going to be a, because we want a, a proper African marketplace, mm. we'll take as many as can possibly hold in the venue. Uh, and that means that the, the guy have 10 set up for them or they will have to bring all, all that work? We, we'll have, we, we're, we're looking at, um, it, it can be one or, one or the other, but right now we're looking at getting the tents in and then you just re, 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 reimburse oh, us for the tents. The tent. um, the tent. There won't be no big, there will be no extra um, cost. You, we, we'll get the tents and then you just pay for the tents okay. and whatever else okay. um, that's coming with, with the tents. Okay. Um, and and, the, and the, for, for the three days, the entry is free. There's, there's no charge on this. It has never been about charging the the, the people, public right. to come in and celebrate. So for the right. three days, it is it is free. It is free to come in to be, to see oh. Beanie Man to to listen to that lecture. Um, Beanie Man is looking forward to it. I've had conversations with him. I know that he's elated <laughs> for us to be tapping into that side of him. Sunshine is also ex extremely um, excited about being there. And then the, the festival of drums on the um oh. on the on the Saturday. Um, that is also something that it, the, the, the entrance, there's no, there's no entry fee. And then the Sunday, you know, that grand African That's marketplace right, with right, everything right. African on display, uh, African history on display, that also is free to the public so, for the so entire okay. weekend. Yeah, all right. So, so we're still going to have the, I don't want to call it boombox, you know, we're still going to have the, um, the shockwave. The shockwave. We have the RFM shockwave. Yeah, we also have, have a PA system. Yes. You, you still going to have artists who want to do a one tune or two tune? Yes, we still have that. We we'll have a stage. As a matter of fact, yes. we're going to have a grand stage. Okay, and you still going to have the the marketplace where people are sell food and them wares and all these things. Right. And you still going to have Muta Baruka. Still going to have. <laughs> we still going to have Muta Baruka. All right. So. And Muta, we remember, you know, we're broadcasting. The broadcast game for a long time, you know, you're not signing off at 10. We're not signing off at 10 this time. No, no, not at 10. How far are going to? How far we, going we're going to? beyond 10. Oh, but you don't know yet. Well, with the other night, with the other day, we'll go beyond 10 still, you know. Yeah, well, well remember that when we broadcast from Westmoreland, we always broadcast up to 12 o'clock. Okay. And we are hoping that this time around we are going um even beyond but we'll talk some more about that because we're hoping that we're hoping to roll out in in in, in a massive way you know to yeah, roll out yeah. the irsm team yes. in a massive way of course. to westmoreland yes okay and the people them who's listening to us now can know that black history month celebration in our westmoreland irfm belmont academy the 20 the 21st 22nd the 20th, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21, 22. 22. Yes, three days. Right, right. All right, and it, 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 the crescendo is in the 22nd. It's on the 22nd. Yes. And, and, and then to remember, each day is really something different. The first day is a symposium with a lecture by a man. The second day is a festival of drums. And the third mm -hmm. day is what we do. is an African marketplace like you have never seen in Jamaica. Okay. All right, Mama. We, we, we look forward to it. And as I say... And, uh, well, obviously, it's only the venue change, but the concept is the same. Right, the, the venue has changed. The concept we have developed, and as I said before, we're using the principle of his imperial majesty, the Emperor Haile Selassie, on this one, who says that we have to become something greater than we have ever been. Yes, all right. And that is what we're doing. Give thanks, Mama. Give thanks. Thank you, Muta. And, and, but the thing to stress, Muta, is just to say, remember that there is a venue change. Yeah, and, course, and, yeah. and, and the change is that we are now at the Belmont Academy in Westmoreland. Well, look, that you is know, where you look, go. Yes, no, we are, nobody not hear this, you know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you know, the, All right. If 10 people are listening to that program, yeah, 1 million people tomorrow know. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's go. You understand? Thank you, Muta. Thank yeah, you yeah, so man. much. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Yes. All right.
Yeah. So that was the, the, the program director in the year, presenter of, and, and, and presenter at IRFM, Cabo Martin, who is saying that Black History Month celebration for IRFM, Belmont Academy, IRFM, three days in a Belmont. Believe you me, it's going to be massive. It's going to be massive. Yes. And we want you to know that it is taking place the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. Neil Yago? Yes, sir. Neil, look like you're interested in them things there in Rasta. Believe you me, no, we're we'll making you get interested. You could have Neil, you know? Yeah, you could have Neil, you know, we're we'll making you get interested in them things there. You understand? Because this is the thing that drive IRFM. This is the thing that drive the people, them, and wake the conscience and the consciences for the people, them. So we don't want the people, them, lose focus. And we now go allow the people them to lose focus. You understand? So, when one door closed, the other one open. Here goes. This is the stepping razor. Cutting edge. All in a one right now because it's Black History Month. Yeah, we want to tell the people them about a special Black History Month forum entitled Roots, Daughters, and Dancehall Divas, examining the politics of air and beauty for black women in Jamaica. And this is featuring Dr. Imani Tafari Ama, Dr. Christopher Charles, Princess and Trudy, Dr. Veronica Reed. And this will be cheered by Dr. Michael Barnett and the venues at Neville Hall Lecture Theatre that is at the university campus. So we want you to know that this is taking place on February the 13th, 2015. That is, and the admission is free. Part of the Black History Month celebration. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. It's from Democracy Now. I want you to listen to this. Listen to it. Keenly, keenly. Well, we begin today's show with a new report on the history of lynchings in the United States and their legacy today. After five years of exhaustive research and interviews with local historians and descendants of lynching victims, the Equal Justice Initiative found white Southerners lynched nearly 4,000 black men and women and children between 1877 and 1950. Nearly 700 of those lynchings were previously unaccounted for. The report details a 1916 attack in which a mob lynched Jeff Brown for accidentally bumping into a white girl as he ran to catch a train. In an example from 1940, a crowd lynched Jesse Thornton for not addressing a white police officer as Mr. In many cases, the lynchings were attended by the entire white community in an area. Well, for more, we go to Alabama, one of the 12 southern states profiled in the study where we're joined by Brian Stevenson, attorney who's worked on death penalty cases in the Deep South since 1985 and the founder and executive director of the Equal Justice Initiative. The report published Tuesday is titled Lynching in America, Confronting the Legacy of Racial Terror. They're now calling for the placement of historical markers at sites where lynchings occurred. Brian Stevenson joins us from Montgomery, Alabama. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Brian. Um, there's a whole discussion again about states rights uh, in a moment we're going to talk to one of the first couples who just got married in alabama how does that relate to this horrific study that has been done or a study about the horrific history of lynching well, it relates very directly. I mean, you're absolutely right that this rhetoric of states' rights was precisely what local states asserted when the federal government began asking questions about why these lynchings were being tolerated. And in many ways, it is that dynamic that set up this era of terrorism. I mean, at the end of the Civil War, you had people who were reclaiming power from free black people. It's really at the beginning of the end of Reconstruction that we see violence and threats and intimidation uh, beginning to assert itself to sustain racial uh, hierarchy. White supremacy wouldn't succeed if it wasn't enforced with violence and threat and terror. And at the very beginning, African Americans were asking the federal government to intervene. 
They didn't. And the states' rights mindset really took shape during this era uh, when uh, thousands of African Americans were being lynched and menaced and threatened and terrorized uh, with no protection and with tolerance from both state and federal officials. Well, Brian Stevenson, your report also uh, indicates a uh, considerable difference in terms of the intensity of lynching from not only from state to state, but from uh, particular counties. Uh, could you talk about that as well? Sure. I mean, lynching was be- it became a really social phenomenon. It became quite intoxicating when people uh, got this power to just abduct folks and to torture them and engage in this carnival-like atmosphere. They became, uh, for want of a better word, bloodthirsty. And you see some of these counties where you have a lynching and then that's followed by two or three more in a very short period of time. And what was so traumatizing to people of color is that all people of color uh, were the intended targets and victims of these lynchings. This, this was not an act uh, assigned to someone for committing a crime. As you've described, oftentimes people were being lynched uh, for no criminal accusation at all. Uh, well, you know, uh, in Blakely, Georgia, uh, African-American man, William Little, came home from World War I wearing his uniform. And people were offended, uh, annoyed that he had on this American uniform. And he was lynched because he refused uh, to take it off. A black man running to catch a train bumps into a white girl. He's lynched uh, for that incident. This violence, this terror was really aimed at sustaining racial hierarchy, keeping black people in their place. Uh, And in many ways, uh, it was uh, quite uh, uh, intoxicating. You could see whole communities uh, getting involved in these acts of violence and and really being uh, quite uh, 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 grotesque about the way they carried them out. You talk about the terror lynchings, terrorism. I want to turn to President Obama speaking at the annual National Prayer Breakfast last week. After he condemned the Islamic State as a death cult, he made this comment. Humanity has been grappling with these questions throughout human history. And lest we get on our high horse and think this is unique to some other place, remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, people committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often was justified in the name of Christ. This is not unique to one group or one religion. There is a tendency in us, a sinful tendency, that can pervert and distort our faith. That was President Obama speaking at the annual National Prayer Breakfast. Uh, He's very much caused a great deal of controversy with these comments. Brian Stevenson, if you could respond. Well, I think the president's quite right to acknowledge this history. I mean, we have never really talked about all of this destructive violence. I mean, these public spectacle lynchings that we document in our report are horrific. 10,000 people showed up in Paris, Texas in a carnival-like atmosphere to watch a man be tortured. Uh, Some of these executions, we had one in Dysburg, Tennessee, where the man had his eyes uh, gouged out. He was burned. He was uh, mutilated. And thousands of people witnessed this. And it does speak to a very dark era in our history. And we make a mistake in this country when we don't talk honestly and soberly about uh, about these experiences. I mean, the whole North and West is populated with African Americans who fled to Detroit and Chicago and Cleveland and Los Angeles, not as people looking for opportunities, but as refugees from terror. And this narrative of racial difference, which was born in this era, that has created a presumption of guilt and dangerousness that too many young people of color are burdened with, is something that we haven't adequately addressed because we haven't talked about these issues. And so I think the president is quite right to remind us of this history. We didn't have truth and reconciliation in this country, and because of it, I think we remain haunted, even contaminated by uh, the disarray, the disruption that these acts of violence have created in our national psyche, but also in our relations with one another. So I think it's absolutely appropriate to be talking about these eras. And Brian Stevenson, while your report concentrated on the southern states, uh, 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 and obviously lynching was most intensely practiced against the African-American community, it was also widely uh, practiced against uh, in, the Mex- in the old Mexican territories that were the United States, like Texas and New, uh, New Mexico, Arizona. I've seen one report where 
as many as 600 Mexicans were lynched between 1920, uh, uh, between 1848 and 1928 in the old, in the Southwest. I'm wondering if it's particularly in Texas, which you studied, uh, you came across so many of, of those incidents as well. Yes, we absolutely did, and you're absolutely right. In our full report, we actually talk about the, the lynchings of, of Mexicans and Mexican-Americans, and they had many of the features that are evident in the lynchings of African-Americans. They weren't being lynched for accusations of crime, uh, necessarily. There were Mexicans uh, that were lynched for speaking Spanish in settings where people didn't want to hear Spanish. So people were uh, lynched uh, for uh, celebrating uh, Mexican holidays. And you're absolutely right, in the border states in particular, this phenomena of lynching directed at Mexicans and Mexican Americans was a very real threat. And so this idea that racial difference can make you a target of violence and uh, 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 terrorism is something that we've been dealing with for a very long time. And I think we just haven't uh, really talked about it. And one of the things we want to do by erecting these markers and monuments is to get communities to begin to reflect more soberly on what this history represents. You go to Germany now and you are forced to deal with the legacy of the Holocaust because there are markers and monuments everywhere. We do the opposite in this country. Uh, we celebrate the things, in my judgment, that we probably shouldn't be celebrating. In all of these states, you find Confederate memorials and monuments everywhere uh, dedicated to the people who were defending slavery, trying to preserve slavery, and yet nothing about the pain and anguish and suffering and injustice that those institutions created. Tell us the story, Brian Stevenson, of Jesse Thornton and Thomas Miles and others. Yeah, Jesse Thornton uh, was an African-American man in uh, Laverne, Alabama, uh, and in 1940, which is really toward the end of the lynching era, uh, he addressed a police officer by his name. He didn't use the term, the, the title Mr., and that was considered such a violation of the racial norms and values that uh, the officer organized a mob and they lynched him. Uh, there were people uh, who were lynched uh, for going up to the front door. A man in Aberdeen, Mississippi knocked on someone's door on the front. And then he was chased and ultimately lynched because he didn't go to the back of the door, which is where people of color were expected to go. And about 20% of these 4,000 lynchings were lynchings for basically social transgressions. Uh, many African American men were lynched because they had notes or letters to, to young white women. And oftentimes, uh, people would be lynched for accusations of rape or murder when two or three days later, uh, the alleged murder victim would show up in town saying, no, I was just gone for two or three days. Or the uh, rape victim would say, I was never the victim of a sexual assault. And this hysteria was deeply, deeply disruptive to people of color. One of the things that we discovered that I was particularly moved by were people who told us that they sent thousands of people away, their relatives, their friends. Because they'd have an encounter with somebody in town and, and they thought the encounter might have been misinterpreted and they feared the mob might show up. And so they would send their dad or their child or their sister or their sibling uh, to the north because they feared what they called a near lynching. And this trauma w was deeply injurious and you see evidence of that when you go into some of these communities, particularly where nobody talks about this racial history, but they celebrate the, quote, good old days of the early 20th century. Thought-provoking, always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. The people are being misled and nothing is being said by the poets. Nothing is being read by the poets. Right speech has become one-sided. Truth is being divided into opinions and now we all have opinions but no one has the truth. I got the hook up on the sixth day from the nutty professor who taught American history X from the X pastor Malcolm X who fought with the X men against white boys in the hood because they were gang related. Then you're on a mission. Im 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 Yes, Bridging living in New York City, Jamaican Bridging named Tehut Nine, Mal Avina. A collage of movies in a poem that is connecting the dots, and we love that. So, we continue the journey. Well, you know, you did a movie named Rosewood. If you could have watched a movie the name Rosewood, you'd have say part of your ear on the tape a while ago about the lynching. For those of you who know what lynching is, lynching is hanging. You hang people. But, there's a movie named Rosewood where 
a youth was found, well, a youth was accused. A white man beat up him woman and left her in the house. And a youth was accused of the beat up. And them start to go around the place and lynch black people. And it's a true story. It's just that them exaggerated for your movie style still, but it's a true story. And that is just a part of simple little things. I don't know if uh, how much people know this, but and this is not no, no story. Did you know that most of the people, most of the men who was lynched was found without penis? Because what these people used to do, them used to make it as a as, as a a big spectacle, you know, like you know, a black man will get lynched. So you have hundred thousands of people come. Seriously. You hear the man say about ten thousand people come out lynchings. Well you have lynchings where well we have pictures of white men standing in front of a, almost like a barbecue, them a barbecue the black man, a roast him, and they might take picture in front of him. But what I say about the penis thing is that them used to use the cut off the penis and use it as a, 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 a where them call them to you know where you carry them, where you carry them things from places. Neil, where you call it again? No reason I work to write tonight, I don't believe you. We them, them use um, not gift. Um, where you buy a t shirt to have function, and you carry it to them. Where, where you call it again? Yeah, or anything. Hey, watch your man. Gift. No, it's not a gift, man. Gift is when somebody gives something free. My brain's not functioning. Now you can't function. My brain's not functioning. Go on, talk more. Explain. When a man, when you go out on concert, mm. and you buy something for remind you of the concert, what you call it? Souvenir. Then that me ask you, man. Sure. <laughs> 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 you carry it. It has, what you call it? TVG, um... <laughs> what they call it TVG, uh, what they call it, you know, me don't remember that either, you know. <laughs> me don't remember not at all. No, but, yeah, them used to carry on the, the, them used to carry on the black man penis in a bottle. And carry it to him, go put it in them house for souvenirs. They, they were at, the, you know, like how many said, boy, I made it there at two the rebel show when this and this and that happened. I made it there at Jazz and Blues when last year or two years ago when such and such and such. Well, that's what them used to do with the black man penis. Them put that back and carry it to them. For sure people say, yeah, for sure people say, they did the function when they did roast two black people. Terrible, 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 terrible thing. Terrible thing. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Okay. Yes, this is the cutting edge on RFM. We, did I tell you about where the people them do with black people and it's amazing that we survive and still there. Yeah, man, it's amazing that we survive and still there. Gentlemen, gentlemen, that sun is hot and plenty bright. Let's get out of business and get home tonight, gentlemen. Auctioning slaves is a real high art. I want my 40 acres and my mule. Don't tell me not to get myself upset. You know, so we have to come back to that. We have to come back to the 40 acres and mule. Look at that. And they promise the black people in them in America. When they let them go fast, acre and a mule. The time is 12 o'clock. Ask yeah. Brown talking about him want him fast, the acre and a mule. Yes, cutting edge. Bless. Yeah, bless him, man. Ah, uh, blessed king. Harry. No. Um, here they talk earlier about the lynch in them, but now my um, in the southern part of America. And, you know, there is a word in the English language where come out of them lynching there. And that word is picnic. You know. Pick a nigga. Repeat. Pick a nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, it, it's funny when you just uh, say it while I go, girl. It, it bring back some little memories of coming across some information one time. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, well, when you hear black people I say, yo, me I got one picnic, you know? No, you know, I'm them not really know, say, yeah. how many of they come from, so we just did one. I like that, you know? Uh, give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Give thanks. 
Yeah, they would say picnic, pick a nigger. <laughs> Ah, it's uh, something like you can go to there, you know, have people feel so uh, where they get their food to say from, but if you really check it out, if you really, really check it out, you don't know, say, sense tonight. So we're the the Black History Month, and as we are telling you, say, we're going to a Belmont there, eh? yes, we're going to a Belmont to uh, celebrate Black History Month on a higher level. Yes, because, you know, say, most of the things that we're going to do outdoors is on a specific thing. Well, this is about Black History Month, so we want the people them join me in uh, the, the, the places. And you say, we're going to go up uh, Brownstone. Yes, and the first time, stepping with the go up on the road. You know, continue to go up on the road last year for the first time after 20 odd years. We go up on the, 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 we go up on the road up in a Portland. Well, this stepping with the go up on the road now, yes, yeah, a big thing that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, turn out, hey. I'm going to want to hear my own voice, Rasta. Yo. Yeah. Mota. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm very chin. Big up yourself, man. Yes. Man, you say, remember you say, me and I reason one time, we were not planting a mango tree, no tree at all. You plant mango tree now? We plant a long time, man. Me and I say, me and I say, we plant already, man. I don't know what to talk to me. You think a TV yeah, man. the parasite? I'm going to clear my time drive, man. All Sonic, right, man. So, so you come down to Belmont? I want to come down the way you hear me. Yeah. You hear that about the lynching thing, the little while, sir. But the thing is, you still reach far. But right now, white man, white man love black man, white black, black man love white man right now. Mm. I'll be here, let me see I walk on the road. Which part you live? Eh? Which part you live? It's a beer that's on the road. Sorry, man. A Kingston, man. I have a tree, man. I'm going to be in, man. And a beer that you sit on the road. No, for that, man. You have a place up at Berlin, Burlington Avenue here right now in front of me. At San Genome Avenue. I'm going to have my lines to it. One horse around there, sir. I see a white and black, me, I see. Oh, everybody are mixed up, mixed up. And them things that they used to do. But, boy, things just change. Yeah, yeah all the past things change. Yeah, I just say, we reach far. I'm out a long time in a chat to you. I'm saying, no, say, have a youth of favor, your mother. Me, have a youth of favor, me? Yeah, we're going to go be a foot shame like that, you know? No, we're the whole land, the whole land. Because you could have made my wife hear this one, no, I'm believing to me, have a little legit in the pick out there. No. Me, have a youth of favor, me. I'm going to approach him, I'm going to close, close, Mrs. Zano, they have me a bit of teaser. Oh, so he's a big man, he's a big man, you see, I'm believing to me. <laughs> yeah, man, my baby, but me the kind of deaf, but you feel what you feel what they are, man, and program, see me like they are. Eh? Yeah, the man, dear, for them, walk, but I'm seeing me now, but reach through, Mrs. Sandra, they are, me, I'm not. So, anybody will walk, dear, for now, look like me. No, man, it's just that, it's him, oh, you saw your just up. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I really rust them on that. Well, well, you know, so I only if I want to see that way, then I just threw me at the moon. Cheer about rust them on, please, then, under them kind of rust them on. When you have a roll for Rasta with Chad that way, then it's just that because me in the limelight most of the time. Sorry to you. Why people Anyone think you're the one? With that, mm. and you, them, my father. I oh. tell you, you are the original. Rasta was be a long time, man. Be yourself, yeah, man. man. You are the original. Yeah, that's a truth. But Rasta was be a long, 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 <laughs> long time before the band. Don't like you, no, Mota. Eh? Don't like you, my virgin. Remember, we are saying, anyway, we are two, we are two, we are, two, we are going with two mango tea. Are we in time for get again? You can go get some for me, some juice, man. I, 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 I pull them, man. You can go get, man. I was thinking too. I juice, man. Moa, tell the people in my West Poland, say, me, I come from a stinking toe, this te- 20 second, you know. <laughs> stinking toe. And that's where yeah. I work with a West Poland, you know. Yes. I really think more time, man. Because the whole Ambuclean, you know, the Ambuclean people love this theater, man. All the right, sir. The whole Ambuclean, listen, I read for me, you know. All right, sir. Yeah, you know, man, I love to tell GT if you to me. They tell the Ambuclean, say, why not walk the phone lines, man, we because we we don't like that man. Well, you have to tell him yourself, you know. The attack on the radio, you know, I'm going to hear you. I'm going to hear you, you know. Him, but I want him to tell him that. You don't understand him, but I'm a general. No, I'm going to be at the whole land. I hear him, you know, GT, you know. We have to put me and him there at the same place. So, I know, I hear from this, sir. Then, we were to where you were. Then, we're there. When, I, when, when GT come on. Oh, when you're there, you're not there, you're there. Okay, you know, when you're talking about. All right, we have to move, Reggie. We have to move. Uh, it's the logic. Yeah, big up yourself. Yeah, yes, sir, I remember. man. I want the people them down at West Poland know you know. I'm not joking, you know. Me, apart from the stinking to and the knees bury them, 
I had the rights to it now, you know. I <laughs> had the rights. Because, I don't know my bridges. I have been promised my rights so long that they don't have really rights. Come give me the rights. You want me to scandal him on the radio, you know. Anyway, I had, apart from stinking tool, and apart from Neesbury, I had the rights to the list. I have some ladies down at Westmoreland there. I know so they have prepared for me, you know. For last year, they have prepared for me. So I want to know, say, Muta Baruka come for some West Rice. Wait, if I don't get no rice, I don't come back down there, you know. Oh, I'm telling you that from now. If I don't get no rice, I don't come back down at Westmoreland. Yes. Yeah. Muta? Yes, bless him. Hey, bless him. Hey, boy, I'm here to come to you tonight. You have a nice little pit bull puppy. You have a nice little one? Pitbull puppy. Yeah. And as we come in, in gone, we can't find him. Right? A great man, I say, now watch him. I'm on TV. It looks so. A man down with the motor. I said, nice little puppy, you know, man. I'm mm. spending mean, money for him, you know. Yeah. So I'm coming to the puppy. Terrible, gone. terrible. When well, you know, say that pitbull, they could all bite the person who take it away. Yeah, man, I'm going to work so far. I'm going to say, if you have to die in the motor, fire a farm, and we do something, I want to do it with Chadwick. How long do you have the, how, how long you have him? About 10 weeks now. I'm like a little puppy. Oh, gosh, man. May I tell you, man. Mm. Somebody right. guy with him know if we go show up on him for anything. No, we look a puppy. Sorry for you about so that. So, you pass the panier, you're the fight, boy. No, you're the panier, yeah, man. You're the panier, you know. You're the panier, yeah, man. man. Like a man, see a man with the hand, but I push a puppy. All right, which part, which part them take it from? Tell me which part uh, not Jamaica them take it from. Right side and night for you. Otherwise, no, you'll watch the heart. Oh, up your toe. Yeah, man, up a great panier. Up a great panier, so. Mm. Yeah, man, in the ambush. If a man, see a man with the puppy. Yes, do, yeah. do, do, let us calm, calm in a man. Number five, seven, four. Yeah. Hey, no, no, we, no, 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 talk, talk the phone number right now, right? So you don't speak, man, I go remember what you just said. Yeah. Tell me the phone number, tell me the phone number. Five, seven, four. Thirty-seven, seventy-one. Five, seven, four, thirty-seven, seventy-one. Anybody who yeah. see a man with a, or any, a woman I, with a little puppy, pit bull puppy, yeah, brown, full brown. Yeah, uh, if the puppy are listen, yeah, them can't mm -hmm. contact me. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, here, Bridget. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me know you feel, Bridget. Me know you feel. Yeah. Trust me, me know you feel, yeah. man. Yes, yes. yes. May I tell you, man? Why people? You know, eh, so it hurts when you have a little puppy at somebody teeth each other. Me I experienced that couple years ago, you know, and it's terrible, you know. It makes you go look all over the place where you not expect to go look for people to save them of your puppy, you know. Believe you me, terrible man. So we want the man that knows, sir. But me everybody I try to tell them to bring back the puppy, you know. But me know, say somebody out there gonna see somebody out there with a little pit bull puppy where him never usually seen with. Yeah, you know, just just report him. You understand? I teeth him, teeth the puppy. Teeth him, teeth it. <laughs> I've been trapped on the slave ship. My history, culture, and personality locked in its dungeon. Nail keepers of the dreams, crude but barbaric. Yeah, uh, slave ship. Yes, cutting edge. Cutting, cutting, stepping out of Alabama, but I was Everything mixed up this time. <laughs> everything mixed up. Cutting edge, stepping with everything mixed up. African forum, everything. Cutting, hug on. Kev, hug on. Good day, man. How you doing, man? You know what? Me there, man. I see all over the place like myself, you know. <laughs> um, I see somebody, girl, text me. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw my tweet where you say your tweet about something about madden. I mean, I tell her, I said, no, some I have no time. See them and auntie's story where I see them at all, but where I see you. I mean, I said, me, I said, me, I said, yes, mommy, I said, no, no. I have no time. I said, every day on Twitter. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, somebody out there, I, I use the name for, for some madness. Yeah, you know? terrible, terrible, terrible people them. Terrible people them, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, but Black History Month, you know, for, for we month. Let's have a day of Black History for we still, because we leave it, you know? Yeah. And I like say so we pick it this month and next month. We leave it, so we see the celebration them are going, we see the thing them are going. And, you know, people are moving forward to them, you know, because they say, well, politician and pastor for half, and really them that, you know, them can't find themselves within. And they can't find themselves within the party then, because they know the party and the drinking and the rum and the this and the that and, yeah. you know, so people really like them initiative from what we can see, you know. 
So you know, yeah, you know so, different. Lawyer do different. Lawyer do differently. Uh, when you go back to Alabama, eh? when you go back to Alabama, why? Well, I'm on the mat. No one go back there. Uh, why? Why? Well, 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 over the cold, you know, terrible cold in Aguane. Fifty degrees up there, you know. Mm. You know, see. Anyway. But Jamaica, man, you see why the people them can't focus on nothing, you know? Because they and they so much different thing Aguane most of the time, really, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So much. Yeah, so I wanna feel the lack of myself and the proud more time. I know we get into in head cups to analyze certain things on a level, you know. So. So it's that you that you do. That you do. Eh? That you do. No, well, when me there, when me there, you know, I say me there a bush bush and when me there, you know, so me not really have much. Me not have just one lover play down the road, you know. I know. I'm <laughs> Renaissance, you know. So <laughs> I'm really lucky you know, and digging to myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A, 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 a white man place or someone. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you just know, so tell the people them to put off the lock with themselves and catch a level. Because, you know, you can't just go on, so go on, so. Mm. It don't work out, so, you know? Yeah, I agree with See, you, Richard. So. I agree with you. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Big up me hungry, I got it today. And then sample them something, me hungry. Yeah, them yeah, something man. nice. Well, all right, sir. Give thanks. Yeah. Give yeah. thanks. Yeah, man. I got you, Uncle Moussa. Give thanks. No, please. Yeah, Del Jones talking about the slave ship. May I tell you? So, this is what them call, I reckon what them call it when really Jamaicans have done many kind of music and you can see the youth them right now. Them stop make dance hall music. Them stop make reggae music. Them gone in a kind of a pollination of hip hop and slow music. I want to play a tune here. We are no say never play for RFM yet. <laughs> I will hear you guys know why you never you never hear by I right, can take that call here before I go into these these things there because it's a learning. It's a learning process with the point when we do the culture nature. Yes, yes, yeah. Blessed. Blessed. Yes, Peter. Mm hmm a long time I'm there, you know, I can't retire to my time is fire, because I come for bone the fire to get me out of the tire. Because yeah. I know what love is required, see? Okay. Yeah, them say a black history man, you have a poet who want to bring to the people, you see? All right. A black man time, you know, a black man time for real life. A black man time for get equal rights. A black man time, I yeah. A long time, whatever I did, Jalan, I'd be in frustration amongst our own nation. Because of no love and identity, we have to fight distress and poverty. Can poverty change our system of living? I eat that? Yeah, man. Press a lion in a motor. All right, sir. P I see precise. Man. Firm and precise. Firm and yes. precise. Yes, sir. I am. I am both sides in a rasta. I am helping you. Why are you both? What do you say? You want me both you? Yeah, I am going to talk to you. You have to go take notes on the express. Yeah. You have to go take notes on the express to get a boss. All right, yeah, blessed, Jim. <laughs> All right, so blessed, man. I'm going to tell you what I'm And Neil, they will say, we are Neil, who will say, we help. <laughs> Neil, who will say, he will say, help. All right, as we say, no, we're going to play this soon, yeah. We're going to play this soon, yeah. And I will leave my eyes, I'm going to open, but we're going to tell you why I'm going play the tune when I don't play it. You understand? All right, here goes now. You ready for this? La 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 means I love you, million selling tune. You know, you might wonder why I play that tune, but you know, it's from last year, February, Black History Month. I was supposed to say this and I never get to say it. But before I say, I'm going to play a next tune by the same artist. you know more about this is serious thing you know say Jamaicans have excelled in many things and we are the youth that make music now for bus into the American market 
Well, I want to tell the item something and whosoever listen to me. Because, you know, I worry about people know what I go say, but most ones out there hear them tune here and never know, say, is a Jamaican that sing it? Jamaican write it, Jamaican sing it. Yes. The band named Tom Bell. Tom Bell born in a Kingston. And him go to Philadelphia, go start the Philadelphia sound. We hear all them tunes about, um, when they Mac Fat and Whitehead and them man there sing. Tumbel. We want to pay tribute to Tumbel in at this time when we are celebrate Jamaicans who have excelled and even musically. Musically. So even though Tumbel was not a reggae artist, but in bust the barrier in America, a Jamaican, Tumbel, break the barrier in a Jamaica and make some soul music that change how black America sing and listen to soul music. So I um, pay tribute to Tambell, a Jamaican brethren who born in a Kingston in the fast is there. So we are holy for people hear them tune for a long time and never notice a Jamaican and sing it. And really and truly, when we talk about IRFM, you know, IRFM play Jamaicans who the foreign tune and foreigner who the Jamaican tune. Well, this is a Jamaican who do a Jamaican written song. You understand? So now you know. Now you know, the Delphonics, one of the biggest and best soul group, black soul group in America. In the 60s, they come out with some serious song, Tumble. And we are telling you that. It's a bridge where create a sound in a Philadelphia. Create American sound, a soul sound, and give the world some beautiful music beautiful music so we want to hear of Tambel and now you know that when you hear that song again you have to know say is that Jamaican responsible for that tune anytime you hear that song again didn't I blow your mind anytime you dance a song there again you have to dance it on another level now and realize say but you know say is that Jamaican write that tune there Delphonics. Yes. Tambel. Delphonics. Right songs with stylistics. And many more too. So... We have a next bridge you never want to tell you about, you know, and most people know him. He used to go to Ulmaz, born in a St. Anya, so, and he have the first million selling album ever. A Jamaican at that. <laughs> Neil, he didn't know says a Jamaican have the first million selling album. Yeah, man, the first album will sell a million is a Jamaican singer album there. Jamaican. You think we easy? We not easy at all. In born in a St. Anne. And St. Anne is one of them parish where it's amazing. It's amazing. You know what I mean? I refer him start in a St. Anne. Bob Marley born in St. Anne. Burning Spear come from St. Anne. And this artist here, what we say, make the first million selling album come from St. Anne. Listen. You know there's a story behind that song here when Louis Bennett had teach him the song. She never tell him about no six foot, seven foot. A banana. You know we said six and seven and him go put six foot, seven foot. <laughs> this little laugh when she say, Musa, me never tell the man about the six foot, seven foot. You know, we don't know where we get that from. 
Arabella Fante, actor too, yes. I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it the fact that I'm ugly? I wonder why nobody don't like me. Or is it the fact that I'm ugly? Yeah, them two here from the 50s, man. As we say, Arabella Fante, the man who made the first million selling album. Jamaican, believe you me, it's sweet me. So, we just have feature this as a little feature. Because we know that sometimes you miss certain things. And you never really figure out, say, right, it is really a drum, you cannot do that. Okay. One of the biggest disco tunes in a dance, in a party. One hit him up. One, one hit. And I know, say, I'm supposed to collect half of that hit still. Believe you me. That, that, that tune alone put him on a level. So, we want to play this tune, you know, because the whole people hear it all the while and never know, say, that drum, you cannot do it. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody was fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. So yes. We just run through a little vibe, that's all. We just get the vibe. You know them really? The vibe we are work off, you know. Right, operator? We are work off a vibe. All right. That was Carl Douglas. One of the most popular disco tunes in a disco. Now, the next artist we are going to present to you, and I will pop people hear the tune all, all the while. I never know she was a Jamaica and I do but she is one of Jamaica's most, most successful female actors. I should say she's an actress. <laughs> and she's double in a one big hit. Make it and then whenever you, well, two it you know she have still. But we're gonna play this one here. This one here is from a sister named Sherry Lee Ralph. You know who named Sherry Lee Ralph? The actor. You ever seen a movie yet? Sherry Lee Ralph. And if you know this, we'll play the non the non reggae tune them from the artist them. Yes, Jamaican branching out and you know, when we hear the youth, they might try crossover. They, we don't know if they might do it the right way because they not create a sound with different. Because the only thing you know in the language is the language. But the sound is like they might listen to the hip hop artists them too much. Instead of listening to them and stop, it's like they might try copy them rather than really create another sound outside of where them hear. You know, if you listen to um, the, 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 the one before we did, the, the one we played before, you can hear say some musician get behind him for another level. You understand? I mean, Tom Bell, me I talk about. As a soul, soul, when we say soul, we talk about soul to the core. You can't get no more soulful than the Delphonic stylistics and the Dells and all them artists there. You understand? So, we just like the Alica vibe because them said it's a reggae month. But we know, say, reggae never limit Jamaican artists. Them go out there and make it. And Tam Bell is one of them man where, I mean, all of Fema, I mean, big, big. You would never know, say, him did come from Jamaica. Never know, say, would have come from Jamaica. When you listen to the Delphonics, all them great tunes, you would never know, say, him write them. Yeah. So we turn to the musicians now. The musicians not only create a sound, but also back up famous artists. And one of the most famous duo is Sly and Robbie. Sly and Robbie has played with so much acts all over the world. All Japanese. When you say them album, you say drums by Sly, Dunbar. B.S. by Robbie Shakespeare. Yes, a rotten. And it have nothing to do with reggae. <laughs> it have nothing to do with reggae. It never limited. It never limited. So, here's a tune where 
All the ladies, them out, they love it. We know that because when we play it, we see how them go on. <laughs> when we play this show, there, we see how the, the woman them go on. So here we are going to do. Apart from your tell us your sly and rabbit play the tune. We want to play this tune for all the ladies, them. Who, anytime they hear it, them get wild. You understand? Here goes. Them get wild. You understand? Here goes. Bill Collector's at my door What can you do for me? Hey! Hey, what's Yes. Good night, what's up? Good night. Um, Dom Matt Sinclair came from here too? Yeah, man, Matt, the big actor, Matt Sinclair. Yes, Ford. man. I know she shouldn't sing, but... Yeah, man, Matt Sinclair. Who are you talking about the man. Jamaicans? Mm. Yeah, who break in? When you... They must say it's, it's begging month, musically. We just try to show Jamaican artists who break into the American art market and never get no recognition right here. So still, I mean, you know, them people, they like, like Tom Bell. Everybody dance to their music, but all the people don't know saying it's a Jamaican, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Give thanks. They said. Yes, Sly and Robbie behind Gwen Guthrie, man. The late Gwen Guthrie, yes. Yes. Yes, Muta. Blessed. Yes, go on, man. Yeah, man, Gwen Guthrie, man. We do it long time, man. Mm. Good song, man. This song, yeah? Yeah, man. Nothing going yeah, on man. but the rent. <laughs> yes, but the rent. You know, so Gwen Guthrie used to be away, sir. Yeah, man, I should sing a tune with all Peter Tash today, man. Yeah, man. Sing a tune yeah, with Peter yeah, Tash, you know. Yeah, man, she used to be a Jamaican of man. And Robert's a flock, too. Robert's a flock, you used to be a Jamaican of. Yeah, man, they married to a man from the West, man. Oh, which one of them? Gwen Guthrie, man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, man, you used to be a West woman, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Married inside, you know. Yeah, I'm going to find a tune I should do with um with Peter Tash, too. She have, she have yeah. a nice tune with Peter Tash before she did there, you know? Yeah. You know what she did, though? You know that long time, man. Ah, uh, you sound like you know her personally, you know. <laughs> yes, man, I see perform a reggae song slash already, man. Okay, all right, sir. All right. Back to the lead. Yeah, me man. I see MX3 one night, you know. She play MX3, too? No, no, you, I see her MX3. Oh, man. yeah, me the dead end of the night. Yeah, man, them yeah, the night. Yeah, I open at the restaurant, too. Oh, you the dead end? Yeah, when the bridge is like your problem for the stage, but you're like a junkie. Oh, the junkie, man. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but me the junkie, they're the night, too, you know. Yeah, and man, them, them give me an award, them, them Cab, Cuba, Cuba and it, them give me a nice award, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, they want it too, you know. Yeah, man, give thanks, Bridget. Yes, man, we'll give thanks, I'm too, yes. man. Yeah, so you see, we have mixed up the thing. We we'll give some black history and we we'll give some music history. Yeah, man. Neil sit down inside and won't know to my wife. He can't believe what I do. <laughs> he can't believe what I'm here. <laughs> and even though this group is not a, a pop group, but it's kind of eclectic. This group is very eclectic. Coming out of Europe. Sell millions of records. When we say millions, we talk about millions of records. The group is called Enigma. Enigma, for those of you who's into eclectic music, not just billboard music, but Enigma is a very big, big group in Europe. Now, they have a very unusual sound, but I want to tell you, this group here that sell millions of records in Europe and all over the world. This song that you're hearing and one of the albums, them, well, more than one album, is a Jamaican youth lead singer on the album. Jamaican youth named Andrew Donald. Yes. Andrew Donald from Jamaica in a Germany. Lead singer for Enigma. Well, him, now, him no longer is with Enigma. Time to pan him own, you know, but just to show you how diverse Jamaicans are when it come on to them taste in music. The 
music is called The Screen Behind the Mirror, Enigma, featuring the voice of Andrew Donald, out of Jamaica. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Rasta. Coaching Edge, yes, sir. Agua. Coaching Edge. Water. Coaching Edge. Yeah, man. Water. Yes, sir. Hmm. Why, man, enjoy the, the interlude where I give you, you know? Ah, uh, the little instrument vibes. Yeah, especially with the Delphonics there. Ah, uh, Tom Bell. Yeah, I never know, you know? Yeah, so, man. Yeah, I know some music, I love from my youth. Well, I want to tell you, sir, I just play, there ain't nothing going about the rain, I you want to see my engineer inside that, so I fly a rubber play that. <laughs> we you never know, know that one tonight. You know, since I go inspire him, you know, because I'm a produce right. album, you know, you know, and me I tell him, say, you know, the machine now is still in there, but you have some, you have to have some roundness in the music. True, true. Flexibility. So, it, it, when you hear say, I fly a rabbit, me know set of I fake pan him still. Don't have I fake pan him. me too. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> said, nah, he said, he said, I fake pan him. I call you for kind of back up on something where you set early on. Mm. Because, I'm just on a journey and, at the high, really, set me off on a journey. Mm. You know, and I'm uh, 20 years now with a journey and, we give thanks to the enlightenment and how oh, you really, you know, encourage our life to do the research, you know, and for think critical. Now, you said something earlier about the cutting off of the black man penis. Yes. Yeah. And we are the focus on the history. And we not enough time, we don't focus on the mystery. Okay. You know? And the mystery... As I see it, is that um, the white man know more about the black man than what the black man knows about himself. Mm. And the dedication system we have now highlight the potential of the black man. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of, you know, laugh and we're kind of low in our self esteem because of lack of knowledge. You know, but the white man knows say. Uh, we literally can't sex him out of it. The, 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 the man them say can't definitely sex him out of existence, literally. So I'm afraid of the black man penis. Yeah. From a yeah. genetical level. You know? And and it is even more than that, it's deeper than that. You know, cause we as black people, we don't really know so we are more than just for them tell we, you know. So, as I mean, I say, give thanks for the eye. That's what we can do the research. Yeah, man, definitely. And, and move it to another level of understanding. We can do the research and the mystery. Cause we do the history, but the mystery is why. Yes, why you them know? do it? Why them yeah. do it? Because of fear. Yeah, man, it's sexual. Yeah. Thing. It's a fear, man. It's you a know? direct fear. So the man, them say, them come at the end of them, them, them life cycle, you know, because them fertility rate, they are zero right now. You know? Yeah. And you and know, say, you have psychologists who study it and realize, say, it's a reality that, you know. Yeah, them, them can't, them, 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 them not evolve. Them can't evolve yeah. to the next level of, can't, to the next level of existence. Yeah, yeah. So that's why the brothers are something a while ago, say, you see, whole of white people now are mixed up with black people because them realize, say, if they not interbreed back with black people, they might go into extinction. Yeah. I miss see something on the TV when I, I don't know if you see it. Them sit up a sperm, they sit up sperm bank out there. Yeah, in Jamaica, yeah. Yeah, up <laughs> a university, up a university. <laughs> so give thanks, Muta. All right, bless you, know, man. Stay yeah. on the journey. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah. Andre Donald, lead singer, and this tune yeah, with Enigma. Jamaica New. Yes. May I tell you, man, may I tell you, when you recognize how oh, Jamaicans spread them wings, that is why the Bajan, you know, everything that they, where they might show you how oh, children in a Barbados was taught that Jamaicans, they must associate with Jamaicans because them at the worst set a slave them. <laughs> Anytime a slave get bad in a Barbados, they used to ship them come to Jamaica. That's that thing where all the people are just saying, I don't know if it's true, I don't know. I mean, I hear it all the while, I say, most of the slaves, them will get bad all in America. When slaves get bad, them send them come to Jamaica. 
So we have a kind of rebellious spirit most of the time. I don't know what the rebellion is. Rebellious spirit still there. there. Because Jamaican people see, seem to be so passive now. Not like our ancestors who left us. And when they go through certain things, they take serious action against the thing we oppress them. Right now, it looks like we love oppression. We just love it. You know, we just harm it up and hug it up. Because we wash, them wash with brains and never clean it. You understand? So, what we are seeing now is that element of what you call militancy is only in the music it there. And even the man them who sing the music, no militant neither. Because simply good thing them jump gone somewhere else, you understand? But the music makes me say anything still. You can hardly find anyone who are singing right now where, where them sing is where they mean and where they would have live and die for. You know, see, the music is just an outlet for, for, for other things. But the revolutionary spirit that move most of our ancestors. It's not their Jamaica again. Even though the beach and them free away. And them parents tell them they mustn't associate with me. And them grow up for believe that. Them grow up for believe that they are better off black people. Because right now the Queen still a govern this. Or, but them grow up for believe that they are better black people than we. Because them did submit to England. And we did a rebel against England. And people tell us that, that is why we're not the whole heap problem. Yes or no? Because... If we did, if we did just go and make England rule, we wouldn't have so much problem. <laughs> yes. Cutting edge. Yes. Yeah, blessed man. Um, just to add to what the bridge does about the, 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 the sex thing there. Mm. The, the, the food, the food, we are seeing the food are part of the, the whole, the whole thing too. Definitely. Yeah, the, the food there. Food. Yeah. Religion. Politics, the yeah. food, the food, you know, the problem with it, you know, is that you have to wait for go to the road more time for your gunman kill you, you know. But guess what now? <laughs> you bring some poison in your house, put it in your kitchen, yeah. and serve it every day if it kill you. And you know, I recognize that it, it works on the yeah. gunman. It, it works on the gunman. Yeah, I want to know, say, me have one, one, one lady when we used to till. I will be able to tell her a certain thing about food and on right now. She never did want to listen to nothing with me and say. And right now it's set to your part. You know them really? Mm. It's set to your it's set to your part. I have a youth and tell her tell her certain things. Mm. And she never did want to listen to me, you know? Never. Well Go, you know. So we part you know. <laughs> she yeah. did over, you know? Oh, she, what? Yeah. Over. She did over, I said. She did over, me did a sentence. Okay. I know, okay. you know, you are know, sure. like me, too, you know? You don't like me, me? Yeah, man, we are like, we will have a little reasoning with you. And you did a sentence? Yeah. Then not a sentence with you, know, man? You know, me did, me did run, uh, um, Lewis. I don't know if I know Louis yet. No, I don't know. No, I'm going to watch him. I'm sent out. I'm not going to know. No, no, no. Run away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any, anything, any, anywhere we lead you to Kingston, I just want to know. All right. Um, you know, so, I did call the other day upon the stepping wheel, and I tried to find out. Mm. And about the, 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 um, the ganja eye drop, I did tell him, the, the, the name did slip me. Yeah. Yeah. It slipped me and out. Hey, I don't remember nothing tonight, you know. Believe you, me, my brain's not there, so believe you. Yeah, because we ain't there, Yeah, yeah, something similar to me, I remember, yeah. 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 But I don't remember when the name of the eye drop, you know. Trust me. All right, me, somebody me and will call you. Somebody will call me and tell me. No, somebody will call and tell me, man. All right. Somebody will catch right. me. But right now, I don't know. My brain's gone somewhere. I'm going to like to know when we can get it. When you can get it. All right. Yeah. Man. Okay, all right. All right, blessed. Yeah, blessed. Yes, cutting edge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> you know me now. Yeah, you're good, you know. 
What? Speak. Oh, you're gone. You get locked off. All right. Yes. We are going through the pieces. And we do a girl like this trying to vibrate trying to Jamaicans who never use reggae, but actually go out, they're going to make it big for themselves. Never use reggae, but go out, they're going to make it big. Like the youth from just play a while ago. And uh, Donald's. Is a big, big artist that in a Europe. I'm say big. I mean like the group where well, the group where we used to sing with. Me can't even tell you how much million. I mean, most Jamaicans don't know about Enigma. Cause Enigma is for people who are listening to certain other kind of music when they're on Billboard Top 100. So as me I say, if you don't have that mindset, you will never know Enigma. I have another group named B Tribe. Them group, there are some group where, even though you know hear about them, but trust me, trust me, man. When them a keep concert at stadium, them a feel you know, bigger than where we have here, so too. Okay. Yeah, cutting edge. Yes. Yes, Muta. Yeah, blessed. Yeah, man, I hear you know, press a lion, see? Press a lion. I hear you know, play, I hear you know, play Sly and Robbie. Sly and Robbie are the first man who play a rhythm for you for RG, 10 Roswell Jordan, you know. All right, sir. Then, when we have a shift, we have a long rest of a dreadlock. Mm. Then, mm. and I'm on vice to nine record and produce and don't get a dollar out of the business until now. Sugar miners and gig rides are dead out right. Then, and a long time there, Rasta, I tell you. Who, who you, you be? Know? Who you be? Who you say you be? Press a lion, man, from Clarendon. Yeah, I was a part of the Rasta the barn and a group. And where you say you don't get no money out? You don't get no, no money out? No, not even a dollar out of the music business. Mm. And I'm on vice three songs for yourself. Can't serve three or four master. Mm. Plant of the vineyard. I produce them too late. I want. I, 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 I want. You, you make money now. So you make money now. I don't get dollar out of it. I know that's why I can't. No, we no hold on, no hold on, no hold on, no hold on. You just say you do some tune for some man. I don't make no money. But no, you do three tune for yourself. Yeah, that's the only way so I get out of this country. So me, I ask you know the three tune. Why do for yourself? You make get get money outside now. The only money I make when I just buy back a stamp, put down back stamp, and I have a million dollars in my life right now. That means you still real, make, real tape. Me I deal with some long time. No, that means you still don't make no money outside then. No, not at all, Rasta. That's why I call there all the while, man. Where you call me for do now? For make for what? For help out of the music business to get your royalties. Me must help you forget your royalties. Where you where the money coming from, Rasta? Me must help you forget royalties. Me can't help you forget no royalties, Rasta. Me all this myself, and me try to get some royalties there right now. From King Tubbies, you know, King, we have come from a long time. No, we don't tell me where you come from. I ask you. You feel the royalties out there for you? Yes, sir. You join any other music um, people them who have asked you BMI? You, you, you join any of them? No, I never join at the time. I did not want to do that. No, no, listen to me. You could have yeah. come right in your blue little more. May I ask you something? May I ask you? If you join any of the, the BMI, the ASCAP, the job, 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 um, what name there? You join any of them thing there? No, I never did join right, at the hold time. On, no, hold on, no. You, you say you not join at the time. That means you join now. No, until now I don't join right, the guy. You know, you know, no, hold on, no, 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 no phones. You don't need no phones to join it. All right. So you don't join none of them something there? All right. No. All right. Next question now. Yeah. You go to any of the the people the, the tune where you make for yourself. Yeah. You said the only thing you make all tight is to print back the sample. Yes. Alright, so may I ask you a question now. If you not join none of the organization them where for make you get your royalties, or you intend me if you go make you get your royalties now. Yes. Tell me. So um, I want to ask you a question. Which one you can find them uh, them things there, you know? A client and idea okay. So what that mean? So I want to get the number where guy where you can find the J-Cap and all them people. You oh, so you know about J-Cap then? Yeah, I read in that paper, but I never go to them. Brett, so me must go find J-Cap for you. I don't know, but I want to forget that I wish I can find it, Rasta. That's the way I think. I know the money of the place here, you know. Well, and uh, all you have to do is take up a phone book, or take up your cell phone, and call the operator and say, can I have the number for J-Cap? Or look in a phone book and find J-Cap, simple. Where you say, me say me, you want me every forget right, you know, me don't know where you want to put me in a position for now. Yeah, yeah, even the same tune I'm on the average, I can't go start James having you know, with Jack Ruby, you know, 
and Jackie will be beat Gemini on a return at Bridget, the Kingston, you know. Jack will be dead long time, you know. Are you yes, I. You know, riot, but a riot, wait, wait, tell me the mission if I know. No riot, you have to but I hope you get some money off of your true name. Yes, I. Then if you tell me the mission, then I'm going to make you get no money off of the true name still. May I tell I you what you do? May I tell you if you go join J-Cab or BMI or ASCAP and say, yeah. if you will get any riot off of your tune, I don't simple that. Okay, sir. Where you are telling me now, now no significance to me right now because me can't help you forget it. Thank you, bless. All right, blessed man. Wow. Yes. You know, you have a man, you know, every day he get up and he must say, boy, I would have really love if you catch a lottery, you know. Yeah, my, every day him get up. Boy, I, boy, I could have catch a lottery, I could have catch And him pray to God, pray to God if you catch a lottery. And one day I pray to God and I say, boy, please God, make me catch a lottery, you know. You know, God answered him prayer. You know what God said to him? Why you don't buy a ticket? <laughs> See? Buy a ticket. <laughs> you understand? So, in this bridge, you know. I'm a ball out, both right and right. I'm not buy, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sign up with none of the organization that would collect money for him, for him get some money outside. None. And I'm a customer and tell you about who this man, that and that, the man, that and all him. So, <laughs> all right, sir, may I tell you, this is the cutting edge. And I refer him with the video. Yeah, we just show you how you can celebrate Black History Month and Reggae Month without it coming conflict. You understand? And this is a example of how you celebrate Black History Month and Reggae Month and don't make it conflict with each other. Because we know, say, we know, say, Black History Month, they have to stay. So no guy can tell we on any radio station, say, we have to stop celebrating Black History Month. When I say no guy, I no girl. I mean, say that too. I mean, say that too, because... If anybody has so, I mean, no, she should not do it neither. <laughs> Kabu would not do it. You understand? But if Kabu ever come and say, boy, Musa, boy, black history about the relevance again, you know. Me say, Musa say, boy, Kabu, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> you understand? That's what we say. Okay. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. Okay. Africa love. Blessed man. Wow, go on, brother. You know why uh, the biggest genocide will go on? When enough people don't really talk about mm -hmm. even for Hitler born. I was a white man and the Indian then. Yeah, man. Eh? Yeah, man. When them go to America, them live for Europe and go to America, go kill out the whole of Indian then. And put yeah. them on reservation. Yeah, and I don't want to uh, talk about them things. Eh? Yeah, I say, I'm not in Jamaica. Mm. They have a cycle of the we, you know. Mm. Where our role, how we try most of all is to survive. Mm. Ungo that, yeah, ungo that we can do. Yeah, we not, you know. You see all the pressure where they have pressure away. Mm. We still are trying to survive. Yeah. And we not tackle the pressure where they have put upon we, you know. Yeah. You see, I had to come right down to the same man where I look like we, you know, you know. Mm. Take up the same pressure. Yeah. But we see him, we, you know. I was still there to try to survive, you know. Yeah. You know, see? So until I and I realize what I go on, I realize the psychology food, with them. If you want to eat some food, your brother has to be your enemy. Right. Mm. You see me I deal with Yeah. And over the years, you know, Rasta, me I say, me I talk on all the program, the man. Me I say, sometimes all the talk, me mean nothing. Mm. Because the way the survival rule, you know, you talk and you try to heal the eye. Mm. Over the years, I try to make the people them overstand where I go on. I'm still ticketed. And it's worth it, cop, they made kick. You know, see it? Mm. Right? Hey, the, hey, white man, you know. Tar and fed a black man and tar and fed a Indian in a fire. Of course. What a car, you know? Yeah. And do them things as joke, you know? And boil them too. And boil them, you know? Mm. And up to today, it come like, it come like I and I still want to make them people, yeah. 
come back home to I and I children, 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 the same thing, you know. Mm. Yeah. Listen, there's no chance to have, you know, and know, you know, yeah. to yeah. overstand the thing, to deal with the thing, you know. Yeah. I make a one who said, justice, this is not fire, and I'm not in legal way I do, you know. Mm. We are demand with justice, you know. And I try to make them know, so you see the brutality we're going to put on our ancestors, you know. We now have a ticket, you know. And you say we're planning to take it more to our children, 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 or get it, you know. I tell you like that. Mm. Blessed love, my brother. Blessed Give man. Give thanks. Yes. You learn something, you know. Cutting edge. Yeah. yeah. Respect. Yeah, blessed man. Yeah. You're the here, you know. Well, I'm going to find him just the pan. He <laughs> to himself. Okay, we'll tell you, so we're going to play the two with Peter Sash and Gwen Godfrey. Here goes. Yeah, late Gwen Godfrey and Peter Sash. Yeah, the Virgin said she used to do it at Westmoreland, no? Yeah, yeah man, I saw it go. Well, I remind you that we'll be in Belmont 20th, 21st and 22nd. Belmont Academy, yes. Tepin Razor will broadcast live from Brownstone Community College. Next week, Thursday, yeah. Why, well, you look know, Ernie Smith, you know, me I tell you, man, Ernie Smith, come on up, uh, the Bob Marley Muslim, this one, me I tell you, sweet, 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 you look know, Ernie Smith. And then tune your mate from before a whole heap of one while it's to the program your band. And it sound like it just make yesterday fit today. May I tell you? Pan where the people them are do man and where I go on, man. May I tell you say them tune your you should have hear them tune and I say, but look on tune your at them tune where you used to sing first time me. Eh? Yeah man, I saw we should have say you know, when we hear all them tune where we're gonna sing now. We should have said but you remember in them days when we used to sing them kind of song, yeah? But guess what? We have to keep singing them kind of song, yeah? The bridge just call us a while ago. He said, boy, look how long we are talk. And black people, they still just stick up. Stick up, stick up, stick up, stick up. Like starch full up them head, man. May I tell you? Really and truly. It's like starch. Them head cake up. Dark brown shade of my skin. Yes, cutting edge. Yes, Muta, Mandingo. Ah, how you man? Give thanks, man. Yeah, man. The, the Ernest Smith, that you play there, man. Jack in the gun to waste. Yeah. That tune make him have to leave Jamaica in them times, in the 70s, early 70s. Yeah, yeah, that we hear. Yes, yes, because, you know, due to the whole foolishness, yeah. to the whole political sickles and things, yeah, want to censor artists yeah. singing about the conditions facing African people, yeah. irrespective of party, you know? Yeah, I remember Max Roon will have a tune to know Joshua, no. Yes, exactly. Yeah, them yes. tune to scare, scare PNP from them time, them man. Yes, mm. you know? I, I, I yet Max Roon may also have a tune to that the PNP had the, Use before too, but let the power, I mean, them adapt it, <laughs> you know. Let the power fall and I, yeah, man. And I, yes, yes, just just like Delroy Wilson, my friend, tune that them, that them co op without him permission, mm. produced by Bonnie Lee, better must better come. Must come yeah. Because as we, yes, because as we know, what PMP and GLP politicians, both of them have done over the years, is to 
generally fight against the music of the grassroots Africans of Jamaica. But when they come on to them political campaigns and things, use the music of the artists them without their permission. You remember Junior Baez beat down Babylon or them use it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. produced them by Scratchberry, true, them same them type like. of thing. Yeah, and on 1968, Ethiopian student, everything crashed, yeah, fireman yeah, strike, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. But, yeah, but, but both parties, PNP and JLP, just use the music of the grassroots Africans mm. when it suits them, yeah, but fight them against the music and the artists and the musicians at the same time and don't do anything to help, yeah, you know, yeah. opportunistic yeah. using. And it's good that you're playing these tunes and things. Mm. And I was there in the bridging just a while ago saying that we have to do things because otherwise our children, children, yeah. We'll go through the same thing that our ancestors go through. gone through mm -hmm. with the European. Because up to just last week, and all the while, more time you have some real mentally enslaved Africans who come on the program and attack you simply because you're seeking to educate yeah. African people about racism and showing them that they must love themselves as African and to be proud to be African. I worry about and I worry one of them come on last week I, I say forget about racism and about him, him have some European girl well, West Malan I joke him I joke man I joke I that brother that, 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 that joke. He, 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 di direct idiot brother and you, you, have, you have so much of them but you know we have to do what we have to do and in this month here Black is the most created us create well, uh, well uh, uh, not, but as you and I know, every, every, every month of African History Month, yeah. we know that differently, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. we've been practicing that from yeah. where, where, when, and thing. Every month is African History Month. But create a storm, you know, because we went on some radio stations here, organized it, because one of the legendary sound systems in Britain is... Sir Coxon Sound, owned by Light Coxon. Mm -hmm. And he called me a couple of weeks ago and said he wanted to see me. And then he, when I met him, he showed me a letter, an article from the Jamaica Observer paper, mm -hmm. and written by somebody called Johnson, a, a, a male called Johnson, mm -hmm. showing that some association in Jamaica group, Jaria, yeah, and yeah, said Jamaica Association, yeah, yeah, and them look about, them Jamaica look about, Reggae Industry, yeah. And them yeah. deal with the reggae mounting. Yes, yes, me know of them, me know. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was very upset when he read it, them having 21 awards that they as a group given out. And they were, and they named 20 Jamaicans in it. Mm -hmm. And they were boasting that the only non-Jamaican in the article mm -hmm. to get was David Radigan. Okay. And Lady Cox was very vexed. Mm. And, he, and when I read the article, he was very right to be vexed that 20 Jamaicans in awards for, guess what now? The growth and contribution, the uh, growth and development of reggae, of reggae, reggae music. England, England. Now, David Radigan is not a producer, not a musician, and thing. So it's about the growth and development. And what happened, what Lydie was vexed about, is that he and many other sound people, and we're going to start with someone close to you, also in this sense. Mm. The f sound system, as you know, yeah. is the radio of the people. Yeah. When radio stations ever used to play our music, mm. it's sound system that play and promote the music from the 1940s coming through. And the first sound system man in London, in Britain, in Europe, was a man whose mother used to live at 61 Wildman Street, Big Yard, beside Jamaica Success Club, where yeah. our school, Kingston Technical, yeah. talking about Duke Finn, the original DJ for Jamaica Top Sound in the 50s, Tom the Great Sebastian from Luke Lane. Yeah. In Jamaica, he was known as Shine Shoes Vinny. You know, and me and him son, son, no, no. And his mother was Aunt Sierra, live at 61 Wildman Street. I you know, you remember Chester, 
the, 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 the Rasta man, still yeah. there, wild man, yeah, street. Man, I no saw. Tester, man. <laughs> yeah, man, they know from school days, man. Mm -hmm. I'm like 60s at Kingston Technical. And I feel up Pepper John and Cool Walks, them and all of the man, them in the area still. Mm -hmm. And fear. Mm -hmm. And he is the man who started the first sound system in this country in 1955 in Britain. Because the man Lenny Fry and Count Suckle of Cube Club fame stored away from 1954 to Britain. So he started it and others followed. And Duke Vin sounds like Coxon and Cox other, many other people. Other people. Me no. Yes. Cox never get a word from Jamaica yet. No. You see, Ross? Yes, that is why I was so upset. Never. You know, so never. Never. Ask never ask them, you know. You know, so never ask them. Never ask yes. them. Never ask them, Rasta. Never ask them. How is it that Coxon out of England never get a word for, for the, 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 the contribution where him do for sound system and reggae music in England there? Is sure. Exactly, and, and the man who started Duvin, mm. the original sound system, who started in Europe, mm. that like Cops and others don't follow, sounds like Quaker City, Sir Christopher. But you know what happened? It's a typical slave mentality that a lot of our people have, you know. They always prefer to recognize and give a word to non-Africans, Europeans and things, over their own African people. Mm. You see, a few years ago, before Duke been passed away, mm. at the time, the GLP was in power. But the, but the High Commissioner was Birchell Whiteman, who, as you know, was a former PNP Minister of Education and Culture, but he was High Commissioner then. Mm. And I said that Duke been, because he was very sick at the time, could have worked, that before Duke been passes away, he should get an OD from the Jamaican government in recognition of the fact that he started sound system mm. in Britain and yeah. popularized Jamaican music yeah. when he started sound in 1955. I told Birchell Whiteman and he got in touch with Babsy Grange who was the minister of culture and that type of thing. <clears throat> she said, they said that we would deal with it. I sent one of my magazines with an article with the life story of Duke Vin on it. So they have all the information about him, pictures, date of birth, everything. Nothing happened. A few months later, Babsy Grange came to London and at the High Commission I was there meeting. I asked her in public. I said, the people here are witnesses. What about Duke Vin? give him an award for his services and so and she acknowledged that virtual white man had sent the magazine with the information about Duvin, the first sound system man in Britain who caused the popularization of Jamaican music. She said yes and thing. Nothing happened. Duvin died. Nothing happened. This is a fact. Mm. And this is typical whereby you have a lot of Africans in Jamaica mm. who do not recognize and pay respect to those Africans who have done things to contribute to our culture. In this case specifically, yeah. Africans like Duvin, like the Coxon, mm. Quaker City, and many others who have contributed. Take for example Tony Williams, the DJ from Westmoreland, <laughs> Jamaica who was on radio station with Radigan Radio London at the same time in the late 70s. Yeah. And the man who did the British Reggae Awards brought it to the Royal Albert Hall. And you know how prestigious the Royal Albert yeah, Hall is. Of course. Yeah. No, he was on stage or anything. Tony Williams, the African from Westmoreland, Jamaica, was not given an award for the growth and development of Jamaican music by... Yeah. What? Man, phone down. What? I see what thing. But I see what the man I talk about. I am surprised that Coxon has never been up for an award. When I talk about Coxon in Jamaica, I talk about Coxon. The sound system named Coxon. You know, we see my Alan last year in August there. 
uh, crime still a play out, especially across Europe there. And we want to heal up Shaka. <laughs> yeah, there. And we want to heal up Shaka. <laughs> yeah. Just Shaka. We want to heal up just Shaka. The man there keep the thing rolling in England. <laughs> You know that we will be back here little more from this from 2 to 5 4 to 5 with the stepping razor the art of war why well, you know Friday big thing for IRFM in search of Jacob Miller you know who will search for him in Breda Digital Chris you know next week a big 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 week Westmoreland. I refer him to celebrate Black History Month in a Belmont. This was formerly the Peter Sass Tribute. Now, Belmont Academy. Now, was I refer him Black History Month celebration. Three days. We will be there from the 21st. We want to tell you about poetry in motion. We happened on the 22nd in to in a man the village. You know, yes, so Safari I always have been poetry in motion thing for the last Sunday, and that will take place this year again in a man the village. So we will be there. And I want to tell you, so we are going to have Portland this Saturday. Rash Rad Compound, I go come big. We are going to spin some music. Last year, it's sweet. Yes, last year it did sweet. I would now go ease up this year again. You know, restaurant tell you get a bigger sound. A bigger sound this year if we will play. So yeah, we're gonna have Portland Saturday, yes. Like the yeah, we're gonna have Patrice. Yeah, the All Spice Grove Fear Hill. That is probably what the All Spice Grove Fear Hill Portland Saturday, this Saturday. I spin the music. Yes. And then on the Sunday our place as usual. Forever young. I want to tell you that one of the biggest reggae festivals ever keeping in Africa will be kept. In April, Casa de Vore, or the Ivory Coast, from the 9th to the 12th of April. Big, big, big thing I want. You're going to hear about it. Believe you me, you're going to hear about it. Yeah, this is a rare, rare Dennis Brown. Rare Dennis Brown. Yeah, the man called Dennis Brown, you know, you're not going to find this Junior Pan, not Dennis Brown album. Not one Dennis Brown album you're going to find a Junior Pan. Bloody City. Yeah, I want to give thanks to the moment, give thanks to the time and the energy, give thanks to you for staying with me. Give thanks to all the people them who know so they couldn't stay with them, put magic stick in them eye to hold up them eyelid. Because they can't hear the whole of the program. And all the people who drink coffee, we drink them coffee, and all the people who do that so. And who are asleep, but no, so why right now, they can't go to sleep because they continue to left on the radio. And all the security man, them, who not sleep because most of the work make them stay up. I said, if they don't sleep, they will see the man who jump over the wall. <laughs> why, what I think, continue to make the man can't jump over the wall because every time I'm looking to the man, the security just sit up straight and listen to coach it is. You understand? Give thanks. Give thanks to the carpenter. Give thanks to the taxi man them who park up and say they nah move till coaching edge done. You could have bar a little more. 
ça n'a pas été fait tuer, il continue de donner. Les Mickey, ils vont back. Donc, à suivre, ils vont se faire. Ok. So, as we say, Matrix in the house. Matrix in the house, man. I tell you, Matrix with him white head phone, man. And the white head phone, never seen him. But what? Me give you three months and look black like my one. <laughs> white head phone, three months. I watch it look black like my one. Okay, so you also know. I got it, I got it, you know. I got it, I got it, you know. Yeah? All right. Later.